Hey, you know what? I always want this show to be a break from whatever bad things are going on in the world. I want my words to bring you joy. I want my actions to bring you inspiration. I want my milkshake to bring you to the yard. <laughs> It's not always easy to find uplifting stories, but I found uh, some. I did some research, because uh, I want to come out here and be positive and happy and stuff. So here's three things that happened recently. The first one is from a website called Food Beast. Lucky girl finds world's longest Cheeto in her bag. <laughs> here's what it looks like. Yeah. How'd that even fit in the bag? That's crazy. That was posted on Twitter by someone named Weed Bees. <laughs> you know weed had to be involved somehow. <laughs> they think that the Cheeto might have been a foot long, but nobody got to measure it, because this is true. The woman's roommate ended up eating it. <laughs> that is the power of weed. It giveth and it taketh away. <laughs> <laughs> so the, uh, yeah, it does. Uh, <laughs> people too high to clap. Yes, it does, Ellen. <laughs> the next story is from the New York Magazine. One of their producers wrote about his mother going to a convention for furries. Um, if you don't know what furries are, furries are people that have a fetish. Uh, they like to dress up in animal costumes. And they have conventions. And I think that's a reason Twitch is not here today. Um, <laughs> Anyway, here's what he posted. My mom thought FurryCon was a pet event and wanted and volunteered with our therapy dog. Aww. That dog got a lot of phone numbers at that convention. <laughs> Finally, I found a story in the Wall Street Journal about a new sport that requires gymnastic skills, strength, and endurance, and this is what it is. So that is uh, called hobby horsing. I think it was inv invented by parents who didn't want to buy their daughter a pony, because <laughs> they say that it's popular because it gives uh, young girls a sense of belonging. They're going to find out later in life they don't belong. That's not, <laughs> not, not really OK. But anyway, I, you know, they say don't knock it till you try it. So uh, bring me my horse. I, I got one. <laughs> Well, okay, come on, wildfire, let's dance. <laughs>